Welcome into the program, everybody. Whiteside Sports here today, sitting alongside Seth Evans. Nice, thanks. Yeah. I'm Randy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to start this off a little differently. All right. Just because you can see I have this uh, large fountain drink from the gas station down the street. Yes. All right, went in there. Okay. Two registers open. Yeah. You know, this is like 99 cents. Yes. I'm walking in. There's nobody else in there. Just the two in the two ladies work in the register. Mm-hmm. And I'm getting ready to walk by the first one because I didn't feel like she was open. It didn't look like she goes, yeah. I can get you here. So I put it up to be rang up and I put it down. She looks at it and then turns to the other cashier and starts a conversation. <laughs> and I'm like, all right. Yeah. And then after about 20 seconds, I went, hey, this is all I need. Uh, it would be a dollar six. Like, <laughs> you told me to come here. What in the fuck is going on? Yeah. Okay. There I you go. You here. Maybe. Apparently not. Am I done? Apparently not. I mean, do, do, well, you just you just want me to calculate myself what the tax was going to be, yeah. which I I can do that. Yeah. <laughs> but I didn't know if you guys just ate it for a dollar. Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean. Okay, well, now you know that if they're ready for you, you, you got to you dick around a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, she just looked at it of like. And then went on about uh, her business. Yeah, and just went on, you know, just, and I mean, like, didn't just start talking, physically turned, turned to the side with her shoulder pointing toward me and started talking of like, <laughs> you fucking told me to come to this register. <laughs> I didn't want to because you look like somebody that would do that. <laughs> Yeah, I had that look that you don't I mean, care. Yeah, you can yeah. always tell. I'm walking up going, I just feel like you're not great at your job. Yeah. <laughs> and it's running a cash register. Yeah, it's hard. There's always, if there's multiple registers open at a gas station, there's always one chatty Kathy uh-huh. that just won't, hey. Just do it. Just Between that and the fucking lottery heroes, Yeah, I just don't need it. I know. Gas stations, get your shit together. If I'd have had change on me. Thrown at her. <laughs> I just fucking chucked it. Here's a dollar seven. Pick it up. I, I, it just, it just, come on. Yeah. No, uh, I mean, I was having an okay day until this happened. And it's, it's <laughs> shit like that. Just, uh, that just, I can't be bothered with it. Yeah. You, you fucking told me <laughs> to come here. I didn't want to. Uh huh. There was an older lady at the other register. I trusted her. Yeah. <laughs> I knew I messed up. You had a decorated mask on. Yeah. So I knew that was trouble. Just wear the ones like I was. Yeah. And that's the other one. I'm sitting here in a mask because, you know, I'm a decent human. <laughs> wear a mask into the gas station. I respect your business. Yeah. I don't want to be in there breathing like fucking Bane, though, yeah. <laughs> the whole time. <sighs> like Michael Myers. You always hear that in the back of his voice. This polar top <laughs> is all I need. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. All right, you're All right. good. Yeah, well, right, there you go. Okay, There's that's your rant. how that starts. Yeah. Um, you know what? I don't like when I go to a grocery store and I have to go, you know, I don't do the self-checkout because sometimes, because if you have too many items, you don't go to the self-checkout. I feel it like- It takes forever. Yes, I feel like that's like a common thing, but people do it. People have a two weeks full of groceries and still go to the self-checkout. That's fine. But uh, so I go to the normal ones. And they go to ring up or they start to do something and something doesn't have a tag on it. And it's like all hell breaks loose. They're like, what do I do? I'm like, uh, could you just punch it in? Isn't there like a code or something? Or like a, I, I don't know. I just feel like you should already have prepared yourself for this because it's probably happened before. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that's, I'm not the only person that this has happened to. I, I kid you not. That always happens to me. You don't have a, always the tag or whatever. The, and my favorite response is, do you know how much this was? Yeah. <laughs> no, fucking I fucking dollar. Yeah. I didn't well, have a, it feels like it should be $80. Yeah, well, well, it's at a dollar, yeah. and you're asking my opinion. <laughs> yeah, do you know how much it was? It's free. I didn't have a price. Yeah. It was laying on the ground. My favorite one went with the uh, other grocery store on my side of town, you know, got yeah. shut down, you know. Yeah, just, yeah. But when it would happen there, uh-huh. they would physically have to yell for somebody, and they would have to go, do you know what aisle this was in? Uh, mm, that one, that one. <laughs> and they'd have to go check to see what the price was. And you'd hear them yelling back up yeah. front. <laughs> Dollar seven. Like, I'm trying to give <laughs> you guys business because I, I don't, you know, the other place has way too many customers and yeah. I, you know, I'll pay a little more to 
Yeah. To you know, not, not be, be around by people yeah. that I don't want to be around. And there was another place. Like, they always got real chatty of like, uh, yeah. hey, there's one person in ahead of me that's got three items. Why is this taking so yeah. long? <laughs> I don't like those people. Stop talking. Yeah. I, you know what? And I got my hair cut today at a Great Clips. Yeah. And the conversation, it was a nice conversation. I mean, it's not like she wasn't, you know, like over the top about anything, but it takes eight minutes to cut my hair. Maybe, yeah. maybe eight minutes. We don't have to get into detail. How's your day? I'm good. You know, yeah. that kind of stuff. I, she was like asking me like what I do and stuff. Well, I was Carol, like, yeah. <laughs> not great. Not great. Let me tell you how my morning started. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to make up a big backstory the one time. I got woke up. I just buried my dog. Walking in, my other dog bit me in the penis. <laughs> so I had to deal with that and obviously I had to bury him after yeah. that. That's why I had to bury my dog. Because <laughs> once a penis bite comes out, you got to put him down. That's that's the rule. I mean, it's an unwritten rule. You just can't be that way. No, you can't. But it's always like a, the, the same can. So what do you do? Yeah, I know. It's like, do you care? Yeah, I don't think you care. And I don't care what you do. Obviously, I know what you do, but I don't care about it. Cut my hair. Yeah. Do you have kids? Actually, I do. Yeah. I don't want to hear about them. Yeah. <laughs> just cut my hair. It's, it was more I'll of a, give you a good tip. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to not tip you if yeah. you talk to me. Don't talk to me. Do you have kids? I do. That's all I needed. No, yes or no. That, 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 okay. You don't have to go into detail. Can you put those on my shoulder yeah. a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> Make me feel better. You know? There was a conversation held between a couple people, and I was happened to you know hear it. And they were talking about a um, barbershop, per se. Yeah. It, it, it was, the women were topless. Okay? Oh, okay. It was a topless barbershop. And one of the guys goes, that would suck. You would get hair everywhere all over you. You'd be itchy all day. <laughs> he thought you were shirtless as no. the customer. And hey, man. I, <laughs> That's... I, lo- I, like, I overheard this. It was like a, you know, I wasn't a part of it, but I could hear what they were talking about. And I just wanted to be like, you gotta be shitting me. Why did think, you think you would be topless? I think you're thinking about this all wrong. Yeah. Is that what those strip clubs are? Like, you don't come in and take your clothes off for the customers to look at you? <laughs> or for the staff? Yeah. <laughs> that's not, no, it's that's not how it works, it's man. It's reverse. <laughs> the only uh, person I have a really good conversation with and rapport yeah. is uh, my hygienist. My dental hygienist. Oh, okay. Yeah, I figure twice a year she sticks her hands in my mouth. Yeah, you know, it's got to along be, pretty well. Yeah, you have to. Yeah, and then I see how many times I can make her stop from laughing. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know, yeah. Because that's <laughs> you know my my cleaning takes a little longer because she has to stop. Yeah. <laughs> I say off the cuff shit. Yeah. I hate when they have a conversation with you as their like tools are in your mouth. Yeah. Like, oh, how's your day going? <laughs> oh, yeah, really? Yeah. No, I I can't have a conversation with yeah. your hands in my Let me mouth. Shoot you up with all this Novocaine and then <laughs> ask you about your day. Yeah. Okay. Sound like Lou Holtz. Yeah. <laughs> Been pretty hilly. <laughs> Wish I could do a Lou Holtz. I'd have, have, have to work on that. Yeah. It's almost, it's a softer pitch. You know, you sons of bitches got to get going. <laughs> I, it's I, like Herbert I don't know from my, Family Guy, but not as yeah. nasally. I don't know if my, my voice is kind of a little too deep. Yeah. Maybe for that. Probably. But you get the slurring down. Mm-hmm. You get to get the slur. You sons of bitches. <laughs> I said attack the quarterback. <laughs> it needs work. It needs work. Yeah. It needs work. There's a guy that just is overrated. Lou Holtz. Yeah. He was a nice guy when I met him. Super nice. Yeah. I, I mean, great football coach. Great yeah. football coach. Yeah. But he... I think a little over, hey, a little too much. Yeah, I know what you're saying. A little too much. Yeah, don't have your own segment. Just yeah. contribute to the conversation yeah. when they ask you to. I mean, it's like one of those things of, you know, like every place you left was on probation after yeah. you got out of there, <laughs> yeah. right? You know, I'm just, yeah. just saying. Like the Calipari of football? Yeah, yeah. So that's, uh, yeah, fuck Lou Holtz. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I, like him and when him and Mark May were together, yeah, but they actually kind of worked well today together because you could tell that Lou was just kind of poking him, yeah, you know, yeah. when it would come to and Mark May hated everything, yeah, hates everything, Heavy, he hates everything but Pittsburgh football, yeah, and it's like well, they're not any good, no, so. Mark, they weren't any good when you were there, yeah, you had Dan Marino and sucked, they've never been any good, yeah, 
Actually, the only thing I feel like they've done is cost Ohio State a national championship. Okay. Because they beat West Virginia that yeah, year. Yeah, they did. Yes. Because West Virginia wins that game. They play Ohio State in the national championship. Yes, they do. They lose. Here comes Florida. Yep. Shit. Damn it. Yeah, think about that. Yeah, I know. And that and Pat McAfee missed two fucking field goals in that game. Yeah. And they Come lost, on, Pat. They lost, what, 12-9? Something like that. <laughs> Come on, Pat. <laughs> Damn it. That's why he's a punter. Yeah. <laughs> why you didn't get drafted as a kicker. Uh, so we do have some live sports that happened last night. Did you? I mean, I'm sure you didn't watch any of the basketball. <laughs> I, that I fell asleep. So. Okay. I watched um, <coughs> the second half of the Jazz and the Pelicans, and I watched the first half of the Lakers Clippers. I heard um, one guy talking about it. Saying that it, it it's a great setup for shooters because mm-hmm. it's almost like a high school gym. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that depth perception it mm-hmm. feels you yeah, know, it feels closer. A little closer. Yeah. So so they they feel like they can just once it gets rolling, like the mm-hmm. shooters will just start lighting it up. And I didn't mind it. I mean, it was it was the NBA. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It wasn't anything bad. But I I was on Twitter as I was like, watching the games, and everybody's on Twitter like, oh, this is sloppy. This is bad. Bass. This is this. What did you think was going to happen? They've played. They've for, played. They they've scrimmaged, but how many of those top tier guys actually did a lot of minutes in the scrimmages? Right. You know, like, and the, you got to remember what is it? Eight games. Yeah. Why are the Lakers? Why would the Lakers be going hard? Exactly. They yeah, can't. No, the, they can the, lose all eight games. Yeah. And still, you know. Yeah, I mean, it's. I, I and I enjoyed it. I mean, I, I don't. I don't get the fucking Pelicans. I mean, if you want to make the playoffs, like they probably do. Your best player is on a minute restriction, but you yeah. didn't use him in the proper minutes. I don't know why he's on a minute restriction. I don't understand that either. I don't either. Because he had he rehabbed for these however many months and trained and even lost weight. He they said he yeah. lost like twenty, twenty five pounds or whatever. He shouldn't be on a minute restriction anymore. Well and then well, I think they say like, well, we just want to break him in easy, you know, he hadn't played and I no, like, no but nobody has. Well, hey, you got eight games to make it to the nine spot. Yeah. So you should probably play him because down the stretch when it was a close game, your best player was on the bench. Yeah. It shouldn't happen. It, it should it should not have happened. He played 15 minutes and had 13 points. Yeah. I mean, it needs to play. It needs to play. Yes. Against a pretty good jazz team that is competing for the same spot. I mean, right. they have a lot of decent players on their team. Um, he should definitely be in there <coughs> instead of the sorry people they had in there. It's not like the Pelicans are deep. I mean, they got some decent young guys, but. That's one of those of, you know, well, we want to bring him along slow because we want to, you know, this and that and that. We want him here for the long haul. Of like, hey, for when he gets a contract, he's fucking leaving. Yeah. <laughs> Use him up. Uh-huh. You know, it's the same way like Philly was doing that. Yeah. Like we're putting these guys, you know, well, he's got a hangnail. Let's sit him out for two weeks. Yeah. You know, when it's I- like. You know, you only this rookie contract they're leaving and like you guys got nothing out of them. Yeah. Because you never played you them. You never played them. I, and plus, you know, I get the minute restriction for the 82 game season, but he hadn't played since March. Yeah. D- he's fine. You know, <laughs> just let him go At, in 15 minutes. That's nothing. Yeah. Literally nothing. I, you just I sit him out and play him the fourth quarter. Yeah. If you're going to do mean, it that way. I mean, Jesus. I, I mean, I, I was like mad and dumbfounded and I was like, what in the hell are they doing? But uh, being a Duke fan, JJ Reddick was just on fire fucking last night. I, that's oh uh, and that was before the uh, games talked off. But I, I, the, well, I heard the guy talking before the games uh-huh. went, and he specifically mentioned being around JJ Reddick. Yeah, and said it. He's oh. gonna start. Oh, he, J, was, he said JJ's kind of got that shot down yeah. for a small. Uh huh. He was on. I mean, he did this one dribble side. You know, little sidestep. Jumper for three. I was like, huh, okay. He's still got yeah. it. He catches the one in transition, still running, catches it one dribble, throws it. I'm like, oh my God, this is like this is like prime time. He's made a hell of a career and played for almost every everybody. team. I know he has. I mean, but I mean, it's one of those, like, everybody needs a shooter. And he's a solid, yeah. you know, he's a solid player. He shoots. He's not really, you're not really doing anything else. You're shooting. Right. But I mean, right. he's a guy who's played a lot of played, games. And he'll play defense. And, and I yeah, mean, I mean, and he's, been in the playoffs every year he's been in the league has he yes he has which is why they were he was like joking earlier this season that it's zion's fault or whatever if they don't make it oh, yeah, yeah. So it was like a joke but yeah but he's made i mean so there's experience there and i get why he's played for a lot of teams yeah because he's not going to get the long-term he's contract. hired gun i yeah. mean that's what he is yeah it's, of, 
hey, we always, we need this sixth, seventh guy. Mm-hmm. And come in and hit some shots. Yeah. That's what we need. Mm-hmm. And he did wonderful. I liked watching him last night. But uh, I, I was so close in the FanDuel thing. Yeah. We talked about Well, we talked about it before. Aaron, yeah, like, yeah. Just a couple guys uh-huh. that fucked me. I know it. I got money. Yeah. Not the, I, I not got the more than money. I, more than I paid. Yeah. But that was weird looking that up of because it was a million dollar first place. Uh-huh. And so many people tied for first place. It yeah. was $3,500 a person. Yeah. Like, Jesus. Yeah, I know. So everybody picked the perfect lineup. Mm-hmm. The uh, the second game, the, the Lakers won. I the officiating, I don't know. I and I don't watch a lot of NBA games to to bitch about all you know <laughs> they get favored and all this. But it, it was like a tight first half. I mean, every it seemed like there was a lot of you got to figure they, they have haven't. No, game. I know, and I'm not. That's why I didn't really because I mean least, I understood, but you know, because I I I feel like people forget that section of it of. You know, they get the preseason, too, uh-huh. to kind of get their eyes tuned yeah. into the speed of the game mm-hmm. and, and what you're looking for and all that stuff. Yeah. They kind of figure it's going to be. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, you know, it's whatever. The second half, I, I didn't watch it. I can imagine it. I mean, every, nobody like fouled out. That was, right. you know, well, it wasn't anything you know, like that. But one guy that I knew, he he did some college basketball and, you know, refereeing and mm-hmm. stuff. And he went to a. I, I don't know what like an orientation or whatever, like the first step to become an NBA referee. And then after he went to that, I think his wife put the, the nicks on that of mm. trying. But uh, he said, like, the first thing they said is like, hey, uh, you know, people pay a lot of money to see these games. You're not fouling out. And they don't pay. They're, they're really not paying to watch you foul out Shaquille O'Neal. Yeah. <laughs> so that's, you know. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense. I get it. It's uh. Like you'll see them get up to five fouls of like, but they got to do some shit for mm-hmm. that sixth one. Yep. Yeah. But you know, there's only like eight guys that that exactly that applies to. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I mean, it, I thought you know last night it was okay. I mean, I'm glad that the, the bubble's working, and and I think absolutely, that's, I think it's a good thing that at least you know with all the MLB stuff that's going on of canceling games and stuff like that, I think we're at least going to have some live sports because the bubble's working. Yeah. Now the one I was. Guy I was listening to for the life of me, I can't remember his name. He he was talking about the living in the bubble and stuff like that in the yeah. hotel that they're staying in. And yeah. The one they were at's the Floridian, which is like yeah. super top end. Uh huh. And I think he said uh there's like four teams okay. thing in that one, gotcha. four or five teams. Yeah. He says, you know, so you see him, you know, just uh-huh. kinda hanging out and you know, about all the bands and stuff that yeah. you gotta wear to get into the certain <laughs> stuff and uh-huh. you have to However many times you get tested a week, mm-hmm. and then every day there's kind of like a questionnaire thing that you have to answer on your the tablet or whatever yeah, the yeah. hell they have. And if you don't do it, and you go to get in somewhere at a buzz you read, huh. and won't let you in, and then they come, gotcha, and and hey, you need to you go back to your room. room. You got to get this stuff. Gotcha. Of like don't, yeah. And they have, uh, he did say that, like, the pond, you know, a lot of guys were fishing and stuff. Uh-huh. He says, somehow the fish figured it out because nobody can catch a fish anymore. <laughs> he, he says it's just not happening. Oh, uh, that's funny. But he said, uh, you know, they have their, their cafeteria, which is their, you yeah. know, their food. Mm-hmm. And uh, they go down there and it's, he said, it's it's cafeteria food. Yeah. It's not you anything. Know, yeah. anything. Mm-hmm. And that's, you know, three times a day. And talk about, you know, six foot eight to seven foot guys eat a yeah. lot of calories. Yeah. And he showed, because they do have room service. Okay. That doesn't open till five. Oh, all right. Like you can't get any food till five. Five, yeah. <laughs> and it being a really nice place, uh-huh. it's like, uh, okay, cheeseburger and fries. Yeah. That'll be $28. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, here's, you want some coffee? That'd be 35 bucks. You yeah, know, it's it shit like that. Yeah. Yeah. That comes out of their pocket. Oh, that is not included. Gotcha. So room services, you're paying so for room anything service. That, anything you get off that menu, mm-hmm. you have to pay for it. I mean, I get it. They got to make yeah. they got to make it money somehow. I right. mean, you got a bunch but of it's people. Like, he's like, you can get yeah. all their money because uh-huh. they can't go anywhere. anywhere else. Yep. So, he, you know, he had a bunch of snacks and so he's like trying to order stuff from Amazon and yeah. shit. And yeah. just like, however they get it in there, mm-hmm. you know, they drop it off and do but, whatever. Yeah. But yeah, it's, yeah that's uh, funny. Well. Think about that if you're a league minimum guy and it's like, man, I really feel like a cheeseburger, but fuck. Yeah, I gotta, you know, I gotta pay rent. Are we still getting a per diem <laughs> yeah. since we're here? And, I mean, we can't go out anywhere, yeah. but 
I don't know what the NBA per diem is. I, I think it's like been. 50 bucks in the NFL okay. or something like that. The uh, the one thing I didn't get, now this is me ranting about the, the, the dumbness of the COVID and the bubble and stuff like that. So you got guys out on the court guarding each other very close like going up for rebounds, boxing out, touching each other. And then when you go and go sit on the bench, your seats are six feet apart. Yeah. Yeah. What the hell? It doesn't make any sense. And the coaches aren't. Yeah. The, the three main guys, you got, you know, you got your assistant and then his two or the head coach and his two main assistants are beside each other. Everybody else is six are feet apart. Are they wearing masks? No. Coaches? Okay. Some of them did. Some of them didn't. I noticed that in, in baseball, you know, coaches wear masks. Yeah. All of them had them under their nose of like, yeah, it, well, hey. For sure it's not doing anything. No, it's just doing nothing. Yeah. Like uh, Alvin Gentry wore one and then like Doc Rivers and uh, Frank Vogel, I don't think they wore one, but <clears throat> yeah, but I was like, so you, everybody's touching each other and then when we get, you know, go to the bench and I'm out. Yeah. It's always, it's, <laughs> it's weird. It's weird shit. Well, like MLS did that too, because they're in a bubble too and they've yeah. had zero positive tests <laughs> yeah. and it's the same way. Run around, yep. slap into each other. Yeah. And then afterward, you know, no no handshakes, no mm-hmm. no jersey swaps, yeah, no. Nothing. I mean, well, and hockey's doing that because they were asking, "Is hockey going to be able to do the the handshake line?" Because that's mm-hmm. that's a big deal in hockey. That's yeah. kind of part of the. Mm-hmm. And I don't think they are. You're going to slap sticks? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it's like, well, you know, they're fighting. Yeah, exactly. On, yeah. And there's always somebody bleeding uh-huh. in a hockey game. Don't you? Uh, as soon as that buzzer goes off, don't you guys touch hands? <laughs> exactly. I mean, it's not allowed. Fuck. Don't you fucking do it. it. It's it's just kind of a weird thing. On the the bubbles are working though. Yeah, they are. I mean, yeah, I mean you can't. You know, it's and you can't do it every sport. You, no, I mean, football baseball, can't do it. It's baseball not, and football cannot do it. Baseball could have done it. You think so? A hundred percent could have. Where done were it. they? I mean, like where were they have went? Arizona and Florida. Okay, you just huh. played spring training camp. Yeah, I, I get it. Most of them are set up where there's like six or seven mm-hmm. parks. You know, right around it. You know, yeah. yeah. And I've heard people talk about that too. They they could have. Yeah, yeah. You just do that. Mm-hmm. And uh but they uh, for some reason they wanted to uh travel. Yeah. <laughs> and the Marlins damn near ended the season for everybody. Pretty much. Yeah. And like half their fucking team got mm-hmm. it. And there was some rumors that they were in some shady thing that they fucking did is how they all caught it. Oh, really? Like doing shit they weren't like as a team that they weren't supposed to be doing. Gotcha. You know, maybe went somewhere. Strip club or, wings. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Apparently those wings are the shit though. I That's saw it. They they, somebody put a picture up on Twitter and said nobody should be mad at Lou Williams anymore after seeing the wings because they did they look, look good. They looked really good. Which is always a weird thing because you, you, you always hear those references in movies and stuff of like, hey, this, you know, the strip club's got a really good lunch buffet. And, you know, it's all like really yeah. good food. It's like, I've never, now we don't live in a city yeah. that has like 15 strip clubs. And, uh-huh. So you never think that way. Yeah. Of like, but I've never thought, you know, it's noon, you know, hey, let's <laughs> run down and get some wings at yeah. the strip club. Yeah, I know. Never thought I mean, that either. You know, uh, I could really go for some of the fucking, you know, showgirls wings. You yeah. Know? <laughs> yeah. Never uh, been, I've never had that thought process no, when no. I really didn't want to drink the $37 beer, yeah. but kind of have to. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So with the MLB, we had uh, we had our first suspension. That guy is fucking awesome. Uh, I love Joe Kelly. Now, awesome. I, didn't, I didn't really know who he was until this. Nope. I knew he was kind of a wild card anyway, because he's when he when he physically came out. This is you know last year or something like that. Yeah. Physically came out and said, yeah, I don't know where my pitches are going. I just throw. Yeah. I mean, so you get, he's a wild card anyway. And then after all of this. He's a shit sir. Yeah, he is. <laughs> I think that kind of came because I didn't really know much about him either. But that's kind of came out to like, like Joe Kelly down to fight. Yeah. Anytime. Anytime. Yeah. He didn't give a shit. The suspension was too much. Way too much. He wasn't kicked out of the game. He didn't hit anybody. Yeah. Um, I, you know. <laughs> and I understand. Yeah. I'm a baseball guy. I understand throwing at somebody, Mm -hmm. you know, got to do it if you got to do it. Yeah. And I understand people that are coming out on the side of like, he fucked up of like, Hey, you don't throw one in the nineties behind somebody's head though. Yeah. Like, you know, you throw it. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. So I, I understand that portion, Uh but the, 
like him walking and what did we say like wah bitch yeah, or wah, something bitch, like that and made the little I mean, whiny face and that stuff that's fucking classic yeah, it's good and you're right I, you shouldn't throw anybody's head I mean I, yeah, I get that that's the only thing that's, that's like, the over hey, the man. top part you know I get it it's I mean it's it's not the it's not the last time you're gonna see it though no it's not the last time you're gonna see it because everybody is pissed everybody's off everybody's gonna do it they didn't get a suspension for caught cheating and, and some of them was wondering I've I've heard this thrown out there that was he suspended so much for them to because every time yeah, yeah, one yeah. of their players gets hit mm-hmm. they have to discuss cheating yeah of well that's probably a little payback for what the Astros did to that uh-huh. World Series run and that's just yeah it just keeps it alive of like hey we're sitting you down uh-huh. you guys you want to do this shit still yeah yeah you're gonna miss uh huh well it's eight games but it's only like two starts yeah, like two starts two starts for him I get yeah. it I mean could well, only be one yeah depending on it's always weird like it's 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 a bigger suspension basically it's like a 20 game suspension if on yeah. a regular season yeah which would be like four starts mm-hmm. you know they're playing 60 fucking games and if you're taking two starts away from the guy that's only getting yeah, yeah exactly you know six 15, or yeah. maybe yeah depending on their I don't know how many guys are running in their rotation mm-hmm. I know some teams have went to mostly you know five man's pretty standard but some guys just went to four man mm-hmm. for this yeah it's like you know Kind of a weird, like how everybody shuffled out there for the fight. Of yeah. Like, All right. Everybody put uh, their mask on before we go fight. <laughs> yeah. Put your mask on, motherfucker. I'm going to kick your ass. <laughs> oh, I'd so totally come over there if you, if you yeah. had a mask on. <laughs> yeah. If you were wearing that mask, uh, I'd make it red with your own blood. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I like the guy. I, I do. I mean, it's, he seems like he's just fuck you and, and I'm going to do so things much my with way. The glasses too. Yes. I mean, just yeah. like. <laughs> he looks like a nerd, but he's ready to go. Yeah. <laughs> ready to fuck you up. Yeah. Yeah, that's... uh, bring, I mean, I think that shit's good for baseball because they need something to put eyeballs on it because... Yeah. I mean, nobody else watches. No. At least, you know, got them in the news cycle for a day. Uh-huh. Because, you know, get your shit in now because once, <laughs> once the NFL comes back, you guys are fucked. Yeah. I mean, that's just the way it goes. Oh, yeah. And I think everybody knows that, too. Yeah. yeah. Good stuff. I, I I was always wondering what was going to happen the first time there's going to be a brawl of how yeah. how that you uh, know well I I saw where I I couldn't tell you who the manager was but the manager is going out to yell at the ump and the ump comes over and before he gets over to him too close he's trying to put his mask on yeah I was just like and I think you could hear clips of the coach yelling at the ump to put his mask on before he goes out before there. he got to him yeah it's like we're respecting each other but i yeah. fucking hate your guts right now <laughs> and it's, that's one of those things like that's a part you know it's part of baseball too of like but what the fuck is that doing yeah i know you're gonna you know you know what yeah. you're right yeah that was a ball <laughs> I, yeah. I, you know what? Bring that guy back out. Go ahead and send him to first base. Yeah. Hey, hey, guys, stay in the field. That wasn't the third out. <laughs> hey, what the fuck? Yeah, I don't get it well, either. They're just trying to fire up the players. Oh, you mean the players that are paid to be here? <laughs> yeah. I don't I don't. I, mean, think I that's see that work. shit in high school. Uh-huh. You know, it's like, hey, you know, basketball court. Hey, give me a technical. Uh-huh. I need to, you know, lift the spirits. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that, they're professional athletes. Yeah, they're getting paid. I don't think they need you to yell. are paid. For future contracts of what they do. Uh-huh. So, yeah, you know, they it, can't find their motivation. Yeah. And they can turn around and yell at the ref if they really want to. I mean, <laughs> yeah. or the ump or whoever yeah. the hell they're yelling at. Yeah, they're yeah. grown men. It's actually more respectful. <laughs> yeah. Hey, motherfucker, you were 80 feet away. You couldn't even see the play. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Wasn't fast enough for the... Yeah. To re- you have challenges. Yeah. Use your challenge. That's stupid, too. I don't even too. know if they do. I think this is where they... I've heard it several... People say this is that this is where they should have got rid of the home plate umpire. Yeah. You know, they have the, uh, they can call the strikes. Yeah. You know, with a computer. Yeah. And you can say of, hey, you know, trying to keep things socially distant. Maybe not that grown man on another grown man's back. Yeah. (laughs) Breathing on him. (sighs) And how, yeah, here's one. He was putting the mask on to yell at the goddamn uh, coach. Why didn't he have one on, on when he's standing over the catcher's shoulder? Hey, that mask, you know, he's got that mask on. Is that yeah. help? Yeah, yeah, those bars. <laughs> the really one with help. the the one with the holes in it. Yeah, <laughs> that was that's such a weird thing. I mean, I I understand Oakley trying to do something. Uh huh. It's like, well, first of all, it's you're going to restrict some breathing 
with this mask. Secondly, it's full of holes. So yeah. what? It, what is it doing? <laughs> Nothing. I mean, it's it's only restricting some oxygen in, which probably not. Yeah. But it, it sure is shit going to fog up a lot. Oh, yeah. But you have all these holes in it that's not... It, Doesn't make any sense. They'll probably sell some. Yeah. Because <laughs> if you get one tinted, it'd probably look pretty cool. And it says Oakley on it, so... Yeah. <laughs> it's like, well, that'd be something... If people put those in and got those mirrored. Yeah. You said our visor couldn't be mirrored. Yeah. You didn't say our See, COVID was, protection uh-huh. couldn't be mirrored. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be funnier than hell. I think that's a way to go. Get the one shining on the pitcher's eyes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the sun's reflection. Duh. Well, since I mentioned the NFL, we got to talk about a bunch of guys that are sitting out. There's a ton of people. Half the Patriots out. team. Half their fucking studs. I wonder how many people noticed. I'm sure I don't. I'm sure you saw it, but the uh, the wide side post I put up on Instagram that had a picture of all the guys sitting out for yeah, the Patriots. Yeah, and then I had Aaron Hernandez. On there. I, I wonder how many people <laughs> grabbed that. That was Aaron, Aaron yeah. Hernandez. I like, laughed. He's not playing this <laughs> no, year. He's, not he's just not. He he's, opted out. Yeah, he opted ago. out. Yeah, opted out of life. I I thought it was funny. I, I did too. <laughs> this is good. <laughs> yeah. Um. But and I understand. Uh, I, shit, their names are gonna. Uh, the linebackers, I, well, Dante Howard, Hightower, Hightower, but uh, the the lineman, Marcus like, Cannon, he had uh, recovered from leukemia. Yeah, 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 like I get it. Yeah, oh, you know, they, and then a guy that has asthma. Okay, mm-hmm. you know that's these the, are markers uh, of maybe you shouldn't be. There was a re, there was a article and I read it today. It was uh, it was a bunch of players that are on the free agency list that are actually getting a lot of calls. Because of so many players are opting out. Right. And it's mostly in the trenches. Those are the two yeah. main areas of the people who are opting out. It's either defense or offensive linemen as the majority of people so far opting yeah. out. And the real reason was mostly because they have to hit each other every play. Right. I mean, it's... And if you have... If you, you're you asthmatic... Yeah. Hey, you can't be doing that shit. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's just kind of the way it goes. Yeah, I mean, it's... I mean, chances are most of the time... I mean, you know, they're big guys, but they're still in shape. Yeah, it's, yeah. I mean, they're probably okay, but... Uh-huh, but it's just the... But, you know, that's... that's a, Hey. Yeah, it's your life. I mean, if you want to do yeah. it. And I, that was weird. I Because if, like, if you have, like, asthma or something like that and you opt out, you get $350,000. Mm-hmm. But that's just a loan. Yeah. You know, most people didn't know that. It's like, hey, you get $350,000. Yeah, you got to pay that back. No, no, no. They're just taking it. Like, if you make a million next year, they're going to take the three fifty out oh, okay. of that. Okay, that that's how that goes. Yeah. So it's an interest free loan free. Mm-hmm. You know, get you through the year. Yeah. They just take it out of your contract. So, so like these guys that are opting out that might not make the fucking roster. Yeah. I don't think they get. Like I've seen one guy opted out, and what they did was they let him keep his signing bonus. Ah, oh, okay. It was like ten grand. Gotcha. Like, well, you're, if you're opting out thinking you're getting the 150 without a contract, <laughs> the fucking shit ain't happening, man. Nope, nope. Sorry, buddy. You're borderline to make the team. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't seen any rookies opt out yet. Well, a couple of them have been free agent, uh, unsigned. Yeah. Unsigned dra- free agents. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I mean drafts. Undrafted free oh, agents. okay, I see. That have been signed, signed. with the, you know, ten grand, fifteen thousand dollars gotcha. signed. A couple of them have. Of okay. Like, Man, you haven't even been to a fucking practice with these guys yet. Yeah, I know. You that scared? Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, at some point in time, we're most likely we're all going to get it. At some point. I mean, at some I mean point I've just time. gone to that point of like, <laughs> yeah, do I want to get it? No. Am I figuring at some point I'm going to? Probably. Probably. Yeah. I mean, I mean it's, it's just kind of the way it goes. Yeah. I mean, it's like the flu. Do we want the flu? No, but chances are that we probably get it. If it's spreading the way it's spreading at yeah. some point in time, it's got to going to happen. Yeah. Yeah, I seen. Uh, well, I seen the SEC canceled yes. their non-conference game. Did they did something with South Carolina though? I didn't read yeah, it. They Are they I, letting them play somebody. I think they're letting them play one of the teams in there. Um, but I don't remember. Is it Clemson. It, it might be since that's their. Yeah, you know, could be um, the biggest money making game yeah. that South Carolina ever had. Yeah, but the ACC is playing one non-conference game, like a tune-up, something like that. But they're letting Notre Dame participate in the ACC. Right. Yeah, which is stupid as fuck. Make them join your goddamn conference. That's what I'd do. I, that's, I, if I was the ACC, because what's Notre Dame doing for you in the other sports? It's like, not like their basketball program's making you any money. No, I mean... Of like, hey, uh, you can join, put your football team in or get the rest of your shit out, go find another fucking conference. Yeah. We're not 
Yeah, I we're don't, not doing it. I, I don't know why they just haven't done that yet. And for sure, join a fucking conference, why don't you? <coughs> My God. You're not going to make any more money doing this that. This is tradition of Notre Dame to not <laughs> join the conference. <laughs> Had to throw that back in there. Yeah, no, I get it. Yeah. Some people, some of our listeners may not know Lou Holtz coach for Notre Dame, so... Yeah. <laughs> Well, that wasn't Lou. It was his kind of deeper voice brother, Stu. Oh, okay. Stu Holtz. Stu Holtz. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I seen the SEC was been in that way, and yeah. so everybody else going to fall into Pretty place. Much. And then I seen, I think it's from South Carolina, uh, the first guy that's already decided to sit out. Yes. That he's just going to go ahead and get ready for yes. the draft. Yes, Li- linebacker, corner. He's a cornerback. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. First yeah. rounder, I first think. First round, yeah, they said. Hey. Okay. What, yeah, I get I'm, it. I get I, it. I'm all for it. Oh, you mean it. you're not getting paid and you're going to be a first round draft pick? Yeah, go for work sure, out. Just go get ready. Go get ready for I it. Mean, I mean, that's the uh, obviously being an Ohio State fan. <laughs> yeah. I don't want it to happen. No. I, but for sure, Justin Fields should not play this year. Yeah. He, he, you go, well, I'm just going to throw, get in shape, get ready for the combine, get yeah. ready, you know. Yeah. Because what the well, fuck? Yeah, you may not even have a fucking season anyway. Trevor Lawrence? Same way, bud. No way. Yeah. So, oh, I'm the first pick, probably no matter what. Yeah. So all I can do, like if I threw 15 interceptions this year, I could drop. Yeah. I mean, that's, you're hurting yourself. Yeah. Hell, he probably shouldn't have played last year. To probably be not. 100% honest probably, with you. He realistically could have sat out two years and still been the first the quarterback only, taken. The only thing he showed us last year was the motherfucker's tough. Yeah. I mean, and he didn't it, show that until they played Ohio exactly, State. Exactly. That's all I mean. I mean, he showed that. The first time that he... Got, yeah. I mean, he got beat he up got in beat that up game. And he ran, and he did all this other shit. You, you actually saw him, his athletic side come out during that game because you, you never seen him take off. And yeah. these were designed runs for him. Obviously, they saw something, you know, that Ohio State was doing defensively to do it. But still, I mean. Yeah, that's, it's just a, you know, I hate to do that because, you know, I'm an Ohio State fan. I don't want him to lose their quarterback. But he for sure should not play this yeah. year. I mean, that's just not a great decision mm-hmm. for him. And I'm sure he will, because if he hadn't came out yet. Yeah, I mean, it's they're already starting I mean, training camps like, here soon. Yeah. yeah you're not going to fuck him over that hard. Yeah. I and mean, you would at least give him a couple weeks yeah, at it, notice. It, it would have leaked out. Yeah, put in your two weeks, you know. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead, and since we don't really go to school anyways, I'm yeah. going <laughs> to go ahead and not do any of it. Yeah. Then I'm going to have this agent give me some money to live on in the next mm-hmm. year. and <laughs> I'm going to be okay. Be on my way. <laughs> yep, I'll be fine. <laughs> be on my way. That's the one that gets me is that Travis Etienne come back for first of all should have never came back. You yeah. gotta go. Would have been the first back taken. Hundred percent. Every back in the NFL is a free agent next year, so that's tough coming yeah. in. Even though you're you're cheap, well, you're not going to be a first rounder. No, probably because there's no not. reason to to pay for money when everybody's available. Mm-hmm. Because all the running backs, a couple of them would get paid, but the rest of them, hey, there's. 30 running backs on the market. Yeah. We can pay uh, vet minimums to mm-hmm. these guys. Yeah, some of them. You're not getting drafted 20th. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. It's. Yeah, he should have definitely came out this yeah. year. Yeah, and then to come back, and then this shit happens. Because mm-hmm. at the end of the day, even if they start, the, I mean, let's say they, they get started. What are the chances they finish? Because soon as something like with the Marlins happens, yeah, it's they, fucking I, over. I bet they shut everything it's down. It's over. Yeah. I mean. Because how if fifteen I, guys on a roster gets mm-hmm. it at a at a major school, they're just going to shut the whole thing down. I mean, if you look at it back in March when the whole thing went down, colleges was the first things to shut down. Yeah, I mean, not necessarily sports, but colleges itself. I mean, around here, that's all you heard about was all oh, this this guy. They're done. They're going all online. This this one, this one. It yeah. was just a domino effect after that. So it makes me wonder how many colleges are going. Yeah, you know, we did this all online and it went okay and. uh Maybe we don't need all this property that we're yeah. fucking paying yeah. for. Why yeah. are we even doing this shit? <laughs> those those uh, online schools got it going on. You know what? You don't see you don't see University of Phoenix shit much anymore, man. They used to get beaten yeah. in the face with those advertisements. Yeah. Now there's like a couple of them, eight million of them. Yeah. Go I online t- for the University of New Hampshire State <laughs> Southwest. Yeah. Okay. It's a good degree. Is it? Is it? Is it? Can I just write you a check, check. and get it? <laughs> yeah. I, uh, Give yeah. me the piece of paper. I yeah. don't need the rest of it because you're not going to teach me anything. Yeah, exactly. I mean, <laughs> oh. go in for a marketing degree. And what? And you're teaching me how to market through newspapers and sh- that shit doesn't exist. Exists, yeah. I, I miss the ITT tech commercials. Yeah. I haven't seen one of those in forever. 
I wonder if it's just because they're still advertising on regular TV and maybe nobody really watches, watches it. it. Yeah. ITT Tech. Boy, I had an internet outage the other day. I fucked my life up. Did it? Yeah. yeah I was right in that prime <laughs> zone of when I'm actually w- watching some TV. Yeah. You know, before I go to bed. And, and usually <laughs> when I go to bed, I'll, on the TV in the bedroom, I'll just put it on YouTube and put like mm-hmm. a Rogan podcast on or something. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> was that was that Monday? Yeah, was it? Yeah. I know there's a lot of power outages. Yeah. Yeah. Like the internet's down. Yeah. Oh shit. I mean what do I do? What do I do? <laughs> do I How do I watch anything? Yeah. <laughs> Gotta stare at a radio. I mean, yeah. I still have direct TV, but it, I don't feel like I could I don't know the can't tell you the last time I turned that thing on. Does it still work? I've just been giving them free money <laughs> yeah. for the last couple of years. Here you go. <laughs> there you go. Keep taking it. I've used zero data. <laughs> We love this guy. Yeah, he just, he's, he's he the just best keeps customer. On paying. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't complain. Yeah. We don't have to go to his house and fix anything. Yeah, that's uh, the internet goes down. That's a toughie. Yeah, it's a toughie. So, yeah, we do have a good fight this weekend. Yeah, with Shabazian. Yeah, kind of an up and comer. Who's he fighting? Fight? Uh, he asked me. Uh, Too fast. I I didn't I was gonna say that but I didn't want to just because I don't really like that. Yes, oh, yeah. me too fast. Yeah. Well, how was I supposed to do it? Yeah. <laughs> you should have asked slower, son of a bitch. Like, waited more time before I asked the question, yeah. or just at a slower pace. <laughs> Who did he fight? Derek Brunson. Oh, okay. See, I should have asked slower. You had time to yeah. look it up. Yeah, it's a, it's a good. Did you? Did Good you fight. watch the fights last Saturday? I did. Where you're pretty much everybody you picked lost. Uh, let me let me go back and look. Okay. Yeah. I well, actually no. Actually, I think on podcast wise because I think we went through them, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Um. Did you pick Till? I picked Till, but I also, I had it with caveat of yeah, I know. Whitaker Whitaker's probably gonna win, but I want but you I want, want Till to win. Yeah, you're right. I for did I did forget you picked Hua too, my Shogun bad. Shogun Hua? Yeah. I didn't pick Verdum. No, you did you picked Gustafson. Here here's the thing with that. Uh Gustafson, I mean that's just that's just shitty. Yeah. Now I mean on his part of like there's one thing that can't happen. Uh huh. He can't get your back. Okay. Because that's who he I mean, gotcha. that's what he is. Yeah. He he won. I guess it'd be kind of, I can't, I think it's AADC or something like that. Okay. It's like the world grappling. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, He's got like the gold medal like fucking twice. Oh, okay. So he's I good. Mean, yeah. He's good at it. Yeah. Yeah. It was, as <laughs> soon as he got his back. Yeah. And they kind of went down where they were both on their sides. Mm-hmm. It was like, it's yeah, over. It's over. It's yeah. over. He's got him. I mean, it, it. That was slowly paced textbook of how to do an arm bar gotcha and soon as he was there done gus there was just not there's guys won a cold medal twice yeah you're fuck and we're we're talking against other people uh-huh that are superstars yeah at that so i you know gustafson yeah try again yeah you know don't don't go well i gave heavyweight a shot and i lost yeah no no yeah. no try again no you know, what's the worst that can happen? You get beat. <laughs> that's a shit happens moment. You yeah. didn't get beat up. I mean, you you were landing punches. Yeah, it went to the ground. You almost got up and it got your back. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, shit happens. And then we both said that Esparza was going to yeah, win, even though I don't think she did. Okay, I think she got. I mean, she was beating the fuck up. I saw pictures afterwards. I didn't end up watching the fights. It, yeah, it was I wasn't just, conscious, but I don't know who we. Uh, I think we both picked um, Craig, if I remember correctly. Yeah. And then I remember you picked Oliviera, and I yeah. picked Sabata because I liked his last name. Yeah. And I knew nothing about him. And we both picked Chimave or Chim- yeah. Chimave. <laughs> yeah. Well, because I talked about that. Hold on, like, hold on, hold on. That's my thing to fuck up the names. Yeah. Okay. So I think we talked about that of like, oh, okay, he's 8 0. Yeah. And this guy I've never heard of is 10 and 3 in their fight. Yeah. This guy is this getting guy's, his ass kicked. Yes. And it does turn out that they're they're calling this the next. Khabib 2.0 yeah. is what they're calling him. Yeah, which is cool. Speaking of uh, Khabib, did you see the big announcement in October? Yep. We're finally getting We're it. We're getting it. Khabib and Gaethje. Fuck it, yeah. Well, and just, just to let you know this, Chimaev yeah. uh, put a tweet out there because fuck, he fought 
I'm not so sure he didn't fight twice in two to 10 days, 12 oh, days. Okay. Wow. Like he might've fought on back to back cards because the first one was he TKO win. He never got touched. Oh, like he just beat the shit out of the guy. guy. <laughs> okay. And then this one, he, <laughs> he did the same thing. And then it, he sent a tweet out there that was like, you know, give me Connor, give me Ferguson, give yes, me, stop I did giving see me that. these. Yeah. And then Connor goes, I accept. Yeah, I did I'm see like, that. Well, I thought you were retired. Uh huh. And there's no way their UFC is going to let you do that. Yeah. Because what if that guy beats you? Uh huh. You're Connor fucking McGregor. Exactly. Which is probably the UFC's, that's part of their problem of they don't let the they only start. want Connor to mm-hmm. do this stuff. Yeah. And I understand that too, because there is a little bit <clears throat> like this guy's an up and comer. He hadn't fought anybody in the top 10. Mm hmm. And as a matchmaker, you know, people say, well, he wants to fight. He needs to fight. Well, he's kind of fucking McGregor. Yeah. You can't give him a guy that's ranked 10. Mm -hmm. And it's not for the fact that it's just the low ranking. It's for the fact that that means you're unexperienced and you're not at the skill level of a top five. And this is one of the best in the world. It's just dangerous. He might just beat Beat the the fuck out of you. you. I mean, that's kind of the, yeah, yeah, that's what they talk about with John Jones a lot. Like, Mm -hmm. You can fight Reyes or you can fight Jan. Uh, and they said, well, he just want, he just needs to get in there. Well, you can't put John Jones against the number eight guy. Yeah. that's Because he beats the fuck out of the number one guy. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, you yeah. can't just do that. Yeah. You just he can't. needs to go up to heavyweight and fight Francis. God, that'd be cool. I don't think he'd do it. I think he'd be afraid to get beat. He could. I mean, Stipe gave you the blueprint of how to beat Francis. Yeah. You know, just take him down, keep mm-hmm. taking him down, which John is, that's what John does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Stipe ate some shots, too. Uh-huh. So, I mean, not saying that John doesn't have a chin, because he eats shots. I don't know that he's ever been really knocked down. I mean, Ray has knocked him down, but there's some... Yeah. You can kind of coin flip if that was a slip and a... Yeah, you know, yeah, but Nagano fucking... Yeah. Oh, my God. I mean, God. he and Stipe ate... Stipe ate shots to the point where they think that's why he got knocked out so fast against Cormier. Yeah. That he was still. He's probably you know, still a little like, loopy. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. That's what I want to see. Because yeah. I think I've seen Ariel Hawani put that question out of what, what championship match are you most looking forward to? <laughs> and it was Stipe DC, uh, Khabib and Gaethje. Gaethje, and then what was the third? Because there's another big one coming. Yeah, too. yeah, yeah. Um, I can't remember. Oh, Stylebender. Okay, yeah. Stylebender and Paula Costa. Yeah. I'm like, ah, damn. Yeah, I don't know. For me, it's still the steep ADC fight because it's you know it's one to one. Yeah, and they both knocked each other out. I uh, I think I'm I'm excited for the Gaethje one myself. I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I want. I love Stipe and DC <laughs> and all that it brings and the one and one and all that good stuff. But you got Khabib who's fantastic, yeah, at everything, and then you got Gagey who's a wild card, good fighter. You just don't know what the hell's gonna happen. Gagey hits like a Mack truck. Mm-hmm. The thing that people don't think about because he doesn't do it, yeah, and I've heard him talk about it. He was an All American, finished fifth. In the Division One NCAA yeah. wrestling yeah, tournament, yeah, yeah, he's a wrestler. Fifth, yeah. Now he has he's. They asked him why he didn't use it, and he says, "Well, I'm more of a defensive wrestler. I'm not. Gotcha. A, I'm not a takedown." Take I was. Down he guy. said, "You can go back and watch my college stuff. Mm-hmm. I'm not guy that takes down. I'm more of a can get out of you it. You come after yeah. me, and I'll turn it on you, mm-hmm. kind of guy. Gotcha. So, with that being said, Khabib never, and I almost mean never takes anybody down Mm -hmm. unless the cage is involved. Yeah. So if you go back and watch the ally Aquina fight, he couldn't take Al down because Al wasn't letting him. Once could be pushed you against cage, you're fucked. Yeah. He's going to take you down and beat shit out of him. Uh But if you can keep it in the center. Yeah. He's not that. I mean, he's good. But everybody's good in the UFC. Uh-huh. Like they can stop, stop it. it. It's just you, if, you get you pinned at up some against point the cage. In time, he's going to get you against the fence, mm-hmm. which is usually a safety spot. Yeah, I think that's where it throws most guys off because they'll let you go to the fence because once they get to the fence, people don't have the skills <laughs> mm-hmm. to take you down. Yeah, he does. Yeah, that's like his main skill. Mm-hmm. And Gaethje even said that he goes, he it, he only takes people down once they get against the fence. So if you can stay out in the middle, 
he can't take you down. That means it gets in the stand up. If I kick him in the leg six times, he you know he's yeah. going to be different. And yeah. then if I hit him in the with four clean shots, he's going to be different. Then we'll see where we go. Yeah, like, no, I mean it's okay. a good plan. Yeah, because right. like you already have I a plan it. together. Let's go. I love it. Yeah, yeah. I mean that's oh October. Mm-hmm. I feel like it should be like in a week or so. Yeah, <laughs> actually much. that's nice. So October because by that time. Yeah, I you know things should have settled down. Settle down a maybe bit. I don't have to go on on Sunday mornings yeah. or something like that, so I can stay up till uh-huh. fucking two in the morning or whatever. Goddamn fights! Jesus. Yeah, yeah. I, I you know, and another thing that makes me excited, obviously, with the title fights, but I like I like a good card too. Yeah, because you have to watch. Yeah. I mean, you pay for the five fights. Right. I want to see good, you know, five good fights here, or at least names. I'm a name guy. Yeah. You know, because I don't know a whole. I don't know everybody in the UFC. But if I can, if I recognize your name, I'm excited to watch it. You know what I mean? I'll tell you what you need to get into on YouTube. Um, Chael Sonnen. Chael, he fought in the... He's he's the original shit talker. Okay. Like, if you think, like, the Conor McGregor antics, is, like, Chael started that. Gotcha. And he kind of took a little WWE All right. of, like, I'm going to be the heel. Uh-huh. And this is the role I want to play. Because everybody wants to be the good guy. Yeah. But if I can go over here and be the heel, yeah, there's nobody yeah. over here. Uh huh. So that's that's where he went. But uh, yeah, he's pretty good at it. Okay. I mean, to the point where when he did, he was one of the coaches against. Uh, oh, and that Ultimate Fighter. Okay, and I can't remember. Like he and when he fought Anderson Silva, like he talked a lot of shit about Brazil, uh-huh. and I mean yeah. a lot of shit. <laughs> yeah, and then get scheduled f- to be a coach on the Ultimate Fighter. Okay. And the other one was, uh, shit. I can't remember the guy's name, but he's another Brazilian guy. Okay. He was the other coach. Gotcha. And it was in Brazil. Gotcha. And he talked so much <laughs> shit, shit about Brazil that he had to have 24 hour security because there were so many death threats that when he came oh, to shit, they were going to kill him. Gotcha. Uh, bulletproof cars. I mean, it was, yeah. he, he had to stay like two hours away. From where everybody else was and drive in every day. Wow. And, I mean, he's yeah. like, wow. So you're pretty good at talking shit. shit yeah. <laughs> you, you pissed the country off. <laughs> but he does like a couple times a week. He'll release four or five videos. Okay. And they're like five minutes. Yeah. But he just kind of breaks down fights. Gotcha. And just kind of tells you, yeah. this is what I'm looking at. This is mm-hmm. what, you know. And he's he's entertaining. I mean, gotcha. he's very engaging. Yeah. Kinda yeah. Good. It's a good watch. And, and you'll start to pick up a lot more. Gotcha. What's his name? Chael? Chael Sonnen. Chael Sonnen. Yep. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, I think it was the American, American Bad Guy. It's Bad Guy Inc. Is okay. What is <laughs> what his company gotcha. is. But it, it was something like that. He, he's right. just always the bad yeah. guy. Yeah. Yeah. I gotcha. But yeah, that's, uh, I mean, he, I think he got popped for, you know, drugs and stuff too uh, during the, the good old days. Yeah. And, uh, he <laughs> getting popped of like one came back it was kind of like you know do whatever the fuck you want because they use these these bullshit testing methods that you you can get around Uh uh-huh and he was kind of the first one to kind of get in that pop by when they brought in usada gotcha he's like all right well i had a flag test Mm -hmm. and it was uh they got him with an estrogen blocker okay but he kind of was able to explain his way out they're like yeah we don't know how you know, sometimes that's in a supplement or whatever. Yeah. He's like, so he got away with it. But they'd take, you know, he would had another sample that hadn't came back yet. Okay. And he's like, I want to see, I, I'm wondering how good their testing is because I, I, I know what should show up. Yeah. And we'll see what shows up. And yeah. he goes, pretty good fucking test. <laughs> it, it was a pretty good test. <laughs> so it's not like that hundred dollar one yeah. hundred number you call to have somebody do a P test. No, yeah. no, they went <laughs> through it and <laughs> they got everything. everything. That <laughs> uh, that's funny. Yeah, that's, um, it's, uh, I mean, it just, as you get watching that, it makes you more, cause yeah, he starts bringing up fighters that you hadn't mm-hmm. heard of. Cause that's, I was where you were at, where it's like the big name guys and yeah, stuff yeah, like yeah. that that you know of. Uh-huh. But now I'm at the point where like that Chimeev, yeah, like that interests me of because he's an up and comer uh-huh. and like he's kind of a badass. Yeah, you see, they're low level, kind of bringing them along. Mm-hmm. Of like you start to see their stars. Start, yeah, you know, I know what you mean. Uh, uh, Sugar Sean, uh, or Shane, Sugar Shane, 
Sugar Show guy with the uh, multicolored hair. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, he's an up and comer of yeah. like fun as shit. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah, a yeah. shit talker. Uh-huh. He's knocking people out. He's, yeah. You know, I understand. Yeah. Like getting, you know, getting in on the ground floor. Uh-huh. Gotcha. Which I think that's kind of where, because that's kind of the McGregor thing. Because mm-hmm. you had that atmosphere of just his natural personality. And when he popped into the UFC, it was as, as yeah. the, you know, as it was George St. Pierre had already yes. grown the sport. And mm-hmm. then, so everybody kind of got in on the ground level yes. and watched, watched this look- rocket launch. Mm-hmm. So that's where it gets fun. Yeah. Yeah. Fun to watch that shit. It is fun to watch that shit, and it's fun to watch just people beat the shit out of each other. Yeah. I don't, that's, lock them in a cage. Yeah, lock them in a cage and go to town. Kick their ass. Yep. It is. It's fun. I do like to watch it. And it's been nice. I mean, it, it's been nice that they've been doing weekly cards, but there's something, you know. Yeah. Before the whole lockdown and stuff, everybody, I mean, they still had like pretty much every week they had mm-hmm. a card, but for the most part, they were horse shit. Yeah. But at least now it's like, well, you got one or two people that, Mm -hmm. you know, you kind of want to see. Yeah. And that'll bring me in to watch some up and comers. Mm -hmm. I don't really get into the early. Well, I don't have fight pass, so I don't watch the early prelims. I'm not paying for that shit. Yeah. I already pay for ESPN (laughs) Plus Plus. specifically to watch fights. (laughs) I'm going to give you another eight bucks to watch past fights. Yeah. I don't want to do that. Stupid. (laughs) Just stupid. Yeah. So let's uh, we'll bring it around the wagon again. We got uh, more NFL news. Did you see the Joey Bosa contract? I did. The 102 guaranteed. Yeah, 77 guaranteed signing, and then I assume once he meets certain speculations yeah. or whatever, it goes up to 102. Yes. So 27. Yeah. Year. Is that what that? Something like that. Yeah. I think it's makes five him, years 102. Yeah. Makes him one of the highest paid. I mean, he's paid more than most quarterbacks. Uh, yeah, in the league, I. It's not a bad sign. I'm not. No, not no, de- no, 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 no. He he's good against the run. He's he's a good pass rusher. I just want to know <clears throat> what San Francisco is going to be holding back to sign his brother, who's better than him. Yeah, because it it <laughs> seems very obvious that Nick is better. Yes, and I don't know how he can be. Yeah, I know because they're. But it feels like he's better. <laughs> Joey is really good. He he's. I would want to maybe call him a better technician with his with his hands and his movements. Nick seems like he's just got a fucking fire in him. I think Mick, Nick might be quicker. He is quicker. Yeah. Yeah. And he's just got a little off the ball, but I, you know, it's, I just want to know what they're going to have yeah. to hold safe to pay the guy. I mean, I know some I, people shat on that yeah. contract, uh-huh. but, and it, a lot of it happens to be if he stays out because he misses some games. Yeah, he does. But for the most part, if he's played a season, he gets 12 sacks. Mm-hmm. You're like, well, he did get 20. But no, not give a shit. Does. That's not what that <laughs> no. means. If he sacked quarterback 12 times, yeah, you know, well, that, the, that, that, that means that that's always an option. Mm-hmm. And that means a second lineman or a running back is also getting involved. Yes. Which opens up everybody else. Exactly. That's which you have another point. really good pass rusher in Melvin Ingram. Yeah. Right across the street. Yep. You know, and that defense is super underrated. Yeah. Super underrated. You got those two guys, you know, and coming together. They're the Chargers. They are. And nobody uh, cares. Nobody cares. But they have a good secondary. I mean, they just signed Chris Harris Jr. Then you got Casey Hayward. You got Jason Verrett. You got a, a lot of young guys and some old guys mixed in, but it's an underrated defense. Yeah. That, you know, they're not going to be any good. No. Because the offense is not any good. No. But. It, you know, but it's still at a very underrated defense, and I like the sign. I think it's a good, yeah, it's it's worth, a good he's move. worth the money, because you, you sign tackles, quarterbacks, and pass rushers. That's, that's, that's who gets the money. That's it. And he's one of the best. And a lockdown corner. Yep. But it's got to be a, a lockdown. lockdown corner. And it, we're Darrell Rivas style yes, lockdown and corner. And there's maybe four of those in the league. Maybe. Yeah. Because that's the, well, this side of the field's dead. Yep. I mean, that's, that's. Yeah. That, uh. And I did see also last night uh, Tampa with the yes. Shady McCoy. Shady McCoy. I mean, I know he didn't play much in Kansas City toward the end, even though they said he was healthy. But I just feel like they had enough weapons. Yeah. But I feel like I feel like he's got something in the tank still. Uh huh. Especially you know if he watched the way they, Tom operated in New England mm-hmm. of all right, you're, you're probably not going to get handed the ball a lot. Yeah. But man, you might catch a lot of ten yard little flips and do what you, and do what Shady and does. Do what you do exactly. 
instead of having to hit the linebacker, uh huh, maybe you can shake a corner yeah. or a safety. Yeah, I mean. It's it's going to be interesting to see how they use him because of the New England aspect of how they use running backs. But you look at two years ago when he was with the Bills, dude had like fifteen hundred yards rushing. Yeah, granted it's a different offense; they hand the ball off, right? But still, he's you know he's he's, he's still, still got him. he's still him he's exactly still there. Yeah, I mean you don't you don't just lose that no. instantly. He can still I mean, shake people. Yeah, I mean. he's and I I like the signing because your running back room's terrible, a million bucks. I mean, and cheap, he, cheap, he had cheap, cheap running back. Who is experienced? Yeah, and can catch and the ball. You're not going to run it between the tackles all that much. No, it's just not that. I know it's everybody not the Bruce always Arians talks about way the, anyway, and it's not going to be Bruce Arians' offense. No, I know a lot of people talk about well, Tom Brady playing. Bruce, it's it's Tom Brady's offense. Yes, exactly. Because he's Tom fucking Brady. Yeah, he's, he's and one, Bruce Arians knows of. Well, we got these wide receivers. We just signed this guy as an option. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh, Tom's gonna. This is Tom's playbook. Yeah, which you know. I heard, think I heard Bruce Arians say, he goes, we had however many hundreds of plays in our playbook. Yeah. Most of everything Tom runs is probably in, in our playbook. playbook. Exactly. It's just a terminology yeah. change. Yeah, it's a terminology of, change. You're going to do what this guy is comfortable with. Exactly. Not like, well, this is my way. Yeah. And this is the way I like to run the football and throw it down the field. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care how many Super Bowls you've won. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. Tom Brady's going to be Tom Brady. Yeah. This is why Everybody Kubiak else needs sucked. to, you know. Yeah. Figure it out. Yeah. It's like Kubiak sucked the last year in Denver. Yeah. He, he wanted to run his little fucking running offense. Like, did you still have fucking Peyton Manning? No wonder he sucks. He hasn't th- he's thrown the ball eight times <laughs> this game. Dick. Yeah. They, I don't know why they always, you always get coaches and I, <laughs> was I listening to that said that it might've been, uh, might've been Rex Ryan talking about assistant coaches and yeah. coordinators of like, I mean, there's not many coordinators. Yeah. There's guys that want to be head coaches just kind mm-hmm. of calling some plays. Yeah. They're not actually coaching. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, you get guys. Because the one thing that everybody, every superstar wants to be coached. Yeah. And they don't have coaches anymore. That's uh-huh. why there's like a handful of these guys like, no, I want him. Yeah. Exactly. Because he's going he to, actually he's going to coach, me. coach me. Yeah. And make shit better mm-hmm. and come up with ideas as opposed to. Well, look at uh, my playbook here and how many fucking yeah, exactly. pass plays I have. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, you gonna, it's gonna tell me what I, I mean, do wrong or yeah. Wh- and how are we gonna how are we gonna get these other NFL athletes on the other side of the ball to make a mistake? Exactly. Because that's kind of what offense <laughs> exactly. is. Exactly. We gotta get you to do something. Yeah. It's uh, it's interesting about the coaching aspect of it. It's interesting to me because college. NFL, typically your coordinators don't coach anything specific. No, because it's always like, I always found it weird of like, all right, well, he was the assistant offensive line coach. Now he's the defensive coordinator. Mm -hmm, Like, what the fuck? Fuck, Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It's weird because coordinators, you don't, you see them going to each position, you know, walking around in a practice or anything. Or, and then when it's team time, you see them, but it's, the other position coach is in charge of getting those guys ready for that offense so he can do it. I don't I just find it odd. I just, I do find it odd. Yeah, and it's the and I have heard this of uh oh, what's his name that was a special teams coach for the Patriots that got the head coach. Joe Judge. Joe, Joe Judge. Uh people talking about that of I and I did not know this. There's only on the NFL coaching staff, mm-hmm. there's only two coaches ever. That like during normal, you know, you know, training camp's different, but during yeah. normal game weeks, uh huh. There's only two coaches ever that get to address the whole team in a meeting. Yeah, it's one of them is the special teams the special guy. teams coach. Yeah, and then you start thinking about that of like, yeah, because uh, you know, you got your kickers and your specialty guys. Mm-hmm. Like you might you have a gunner and a return man. Yeah, but the rest of them are playing other positions. Yeah, so you have to make these guys that don't want to be on fucking special uh-huh. teams. Be on special teams. Be on special teams exactly. and do what they're supposed to do. Yeah, yeah. So motivator, mm-hmm. probably. Eh? Yeah, probably hey, really good. Go do some shit. Which is like uh, the Urban always talked about that that he had his stars on special teams, and he always did. And he always did because you didn't notice it until they would make a tackle. Austin Mack was wonderful on special yeah. teams when he was in. He was a gunner. You'd see him tackle. So same way, Chris Olave. Exactly, and, was you know. special teams guy. I mean. Uh, Zeke was on punt return. Yeah. I mean, it was just, he never caught it, but he was one of the blockers. Yep. You know, it's just that he had his stars on, on his special teams. And 
And I think that was like when the Nike truck shows up with all the T-shirts. Yeah, exactly. Special teams get to go through the the T-shirt bins first. Probably. With Urban. I mean, that's, yeah, yeah. that's how it was. Yeah. Well, he was a special teams guy, so yeah. I mean, his. his uh, Although he was always like, could you just fuck kick touchback so yeah, the guy won't run it back to the fifty? <laughs> yeah. Like he has the last two. Yeah. Because they don't seem like they can do anything offensively. Uh-huh. You're just giving them fifty You're just yards. Giving it to them. Yeah. They got to. They're probably going to take that out of college football too. The kickoffs. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like that's coming. I feel like that's a COVID thing. Because every high high end uh, college football, they all have a kicker that can put it through the end zone. Mm-hmm. They just. But then don't. you get the Ohio States and the Alabamas and stuff where they kind of kick it in that corner because mm-hmm. maybe we can get you down at the fifteen. Yeah. Because our guys are better than you. Mm-hmm. They're probably eh. Mm, just going to get rid of that. Yep, we're just going to put you at the 20. Get, put you at the 20, 25. Yeah. I can see that happening as a COVID thing. That's yeah. just not enough. I mean, you got guys running down the field. Yeah. Anyway. Take touch and out. We don't need yep. these schlubs out here. Yeah. <laughs> Stay in there. <laughs> Which it sucks because you see a lot of people in the NFL make livings off of the special teams. M- most people. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, mean, that's that, where that they is, make their money. When you, when you look at it, like the 53 man roster. Twenty some of them made the team because of special teams. Exactly. Of, yeah. Well, I'm a backup guard. Yeah, you're a special team. Yeah, exactly. I mean, like if this guy gets fucking hurt, then okay. Exactly. But you are but on special you're teams. On this team for this reason. Uh-huh. I mean. Yeah. Beard scratch. I don't know if you could hear that. I heard in the that. Microphone. Yeah. I heard it in the microphone. Yeah, they won't hear it when a- I take that out. Amateur. <laughs> I'm an amateur hour fella. It's just what I do. Fucking motorcycles yeah. cruising by. Douche. Go out in the country, you sons of bitches. <laughs> of cruising around town. We're not in technically town out here. I understand you're yeah. in a suburb. <laughs> suburb life, man. Yeah. <laughs> Shit, I was going to say something else, but now I don't remember what it was. It was an NFL topic. Oh. And I cannot remember what it was. Okay. Must well, not have been super important. important. Yeah. Probably was, though. Probably. Now that Probably you like, think of it. Super interesting. <laughs> I seen Washington's t-shirts came out. Yeah. So they just did a different font with Washington football team, which is okay. Kept its color scheme. Yeah. And then I heard, you know, well, I was reading this story on it and it's like conspiracy theory kind of thing. Mm-hmm. They said, based on the way the W looks like that might just end up being their logo. Yeah. Because the, the rumor was at some point in time, Warriors was on the table gotcha. of maybe a name. Gotcha. Which fucking sucks if yeah, they do that. Not, just keep it football team. Yeah. The Washington Warriors. Yeah. Ugh. I don't want to hear that. Yeah. If it's not the Sentinels. Yeah, exactly. Or the, the Red Wolves <laughs> yeah, or whatever. Something. Keep red in there. I don't give a yeah. shit. I mean, keep something in there. The Red Wolves, the no. red something. Even if it's like, like the Red Rats. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't care. Something cool. Yeah. I'm still the Sentinels. That's just a way to go. Yeah, the Red Bears. Something cool. But yeah, it was like the Warriors. Yeah. I don't see to me like I understand because that's the Golden State Warriors name. Uh-huh. Yeah, don't. So yeah, I, they're really good, and you're not. Mm-hmm. And that already exists. Exactly. So maybe don't do maybe that. Fun. It's not like Tiger, where it, Tiger is used all the time. Yeah. I mean, it's no. Let's be. Yeah, but mostly in college. Exactly. But, I mean, not in the NFL. Not in the NFL. I mean, like, don't you know, steal somebody specific. else's. Yeah, don't steal somebody else's fucking name. The crabs. Yeah. <laughs> the Washington crabs. The red lobsters. They're close enough to, I mean, yeah, Maryland and Baltimore. Yeah. The Washington red lobsters. I mean, my thing is, I I like the DC part of it, that they need to do a DC thing. Okay. For the fact that I probably sh- be shocked at how many people that aren't avid sports fans yeah, don't know, don't know it? that it's in DC and they think uh-huh. it's in the state of, of Washington. Washington. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you know, maybe do something there. Yeah. DC Football Club. That'd be cool. It's better than, you know, the Warriors. Yeah. Something stupid like that. What? But it just feels like Dan Snyder. That's the. Yeah. Me, the kittens. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or, or what's it like? Just like a generic team name. Yeah. You know, that everybody uses. Yeah. The Washington Tigers. <laughs> uh, we tried to be the Patriots, but uh, it's taken. <laughs> the NFL wouldn't be. Yeah. Let us be Patriots too. Yeah. <laughs> this is squared up by it. Uh, so I always love that when it's like uh, in college when it's like, well, it's Tigers versus the Tigers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want I wanted something to be like weird, like mice, the Washington mice. Yeah. Something. 
There's got to be something around there. The red herons. Oh, the monuments. Yeah. The monuments. Most of you guys just fucking stand around anyway. <laughs> the means. Washington monuments. <laughs> <laughs> the DC monuments. Yeah. Yeah. That might work. That might work. It's not bad. The Pentagons. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you just have a Pentagon yeah, on the no, side of their helmet. helmet. <laughs> yes. Good stuff. Yeah. Gotta be, I mean, because obviously the wit. And there's one, too. Like, the wizards, that's okay. Yeah. I mean, they were the bullets, but there's a shit ton of gun violence and murders down there. <laughs> yeah. So they said, maybe we should Shouldn't name our that. team the bullets. Yeah. Huh. The Washington something. Either way, I think red has to stay. Yeah, I, don't, red, I mean, they, they're keeping the color scheme, yeah. so I don't. you don't have to keep red. I just no. like the red wolves for the, yeah. the howling uh-huh. thing. Yeah. And I'm not a red skin. No. I didn't say it. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I'm not a Washington fan anyway. <laughs> yeah. They have a lot of Buckeyes on the team, so I kind of check out and see how they're doing. But yeah. Other than that, I don't really care. Huh. Yeah, I don't really care what their name is, to be 100% honest with you. No. It doesn't, it's not going to affect me personally. I'm just going to make fun of it whenever it comes out. Yeah, I just feel like yeah. it's not going to be a good decision because <laughs> yeah. they don't make a lot of those. No, they do not make a lot of good decisions. Although I did hear that what, what needs to happen, because <clears throat> with all the shit going on for Rivera. Yeah. Of now's the time where they need to just hire a president of football operations. Snyder back up. Mm-hmm. Let this guy run the team. Yeah. Take some of the shit off Rivera's play. plate. Exactly. Because it's he's trying to change a culture, mm-hmm. trying to build a winning team so he can keep his fucking job. Yeah. Trying to help with a name change. I yeah. don't know why. <laughs> I don't he's know just, why. He's a coach. Yeah, he's just that guy. <laughs> For I mean, sure. Are you, plan- are you planning on giving him a piece of the team? Because why would he give a fuck what uh-huh. the name is? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know either. For sure, hire a president of football or something something beneath you that way you don't have to do everything because your decisions are terrible awful terrible decisions you hear that Cincinnati (laughs) maybe hire somebody besides the owner to do some shit in in the owner's daughter yeah that handles that shit or the owner's son god that guy looks like a fucking slob and uh for sure build an indoor practice facility (laughs) back on that and I did hear that (laughs) If a Marlins situation happened in the NFL, for sure, it's the Cincinnati Bengals. Yeah. <laughs> like, well, 28 guys got it. It's the Bengals, as yeah. everybody could guess. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's a, there's levels of shitty teams. Yeah. Like, the Browns are just shitty. Mm-hmm. They're just bad. Yeah. The Lions. They're just shitty. Yes. Very bad. Like, the Bengals are bad, but they're a different kind of bad. Yes, they that are. it's like stupid shit. Uh-huh. Yeah, for sure. Hey, you went to prison? Come on over. <laughs> yeah. We'll sign you. And we'll give you a lot of money. <laughs> yeah. It's like, hey, anybody that has a jail record, come to Cincinnati. Because <laughs> they had like seven of them at one time. And nobody else would sign. Uh-huh. Bring That's a cheap in. way to go. Bring him in. Eh, shit. Yeah, but hey, live sports is on. Yeah. Hockey's happy. getting going. I'm happy. I, I mean, I watched NBA for the first time maybe ever last night. Yeah. So. NBA, I'm more. I'm a highlight guy on NBA. Oh, I'm not sure. sitting down. And well, first of all, because ninety percent, because it's like, hey, we start the games at nine thirty. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, everybody's I'm out everybody's because I live on the bed. East Coast. I'm not a West Coast snob on sports. That yeah. Gets to watch Monday Night Football at like fucking five o'clock. That'd be cool. I think we need to do a move. <laughs> get out of this get out of this i mean not not to california just no, in that no. time frame yeah time zone even area. Was, you know even if it was just an hour yeah <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right man that's all i got on the sports topics today all righty white side